there, Stampers, and thanks for joining me today. Ooh, today we are going to be creating this super stinking cool little... This is a light-up jack-o'-lantern. Little mini jack-o'-lantern lit-up box. It's made with tea lights and the Stampin' Up! Kirby keepsake box. And here it is in the light. It just glows in the dark with this little tea light in it. It is so freaking adorbs and so easy to make. I got this stinking cute idea from Lynn Starzy, who just is the queen of Kirby Keepsake Box projects. She has just come up with some fabulous designs that I am just completely addicted to. Love this little gift box. All right, let's get started. To start our cute little jack-o'-lantern project, we have the Kirby Keepsake die. This is in the 2014 Stampin' Up! Holiday Catalog. And then I took some of Stampin' Up!'s vellum cardstock and I just cut it in half. And if you're new to my blog, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and know that you can get the information on all these products, measurements, and supplies. You can purchase them online simply by going to this URL, clicking in the link in the description below, or if you're on YouTube, you can click directly on this video. I have got the, the Stampin' Up! Sussex Big Shot machine here and the magnetic platform, which I love. I think it's a must-have. If you don't have it, you can use the multi-purpose cutting platform that comes with the Big Shot on tab one. So one cutting pad, our vellum, and then our framelit, which just sticks right down with the magnet. One cutting pad on top, and run it through your Big Shot, and you're gonna wanna do that twice, so use both halves of your vellum cardstock. So now we've got our two halves of vellum, and we're gonna use our new super adhesive, <laughs> I like to call it, called Fast Fuse, and that just rolls out, and I like to leave a little check at the end, and then just layer the two center pieces directly on top of each other. So what you'll do is just assemble like so. And that's as simple as it is. You can put treats and anything else in there. Now to continue with our jack-o'-lantern box, we're going to want our vellum to be pumpkin pie in color with a little old olive for the stem of the pumpkin. So I've got the Stampin' Up! ink pads and some wedges of some Stampin' Sponges. I'll start with the green, and I'm, I'm sponging the inside of the box. Doing the little, the two little handles will make our pumpkin stem. And then just sponging the rest and the pumpkin pie. Here's what the inside will look like when we're done sponging. It takes a minute to dry. But we can go ahead and do the next step while it's still drying. The next step still involves the pumpkin, the pumpkin pie ink pad and the Stampin' Up! Work of Art stamp set. We'll be using this image for our pumpkin stripes on the rind. I'm sure there's a name for that. <laughs> if you know what that's called, the stripes on the pumpkin, put it in the comments of this video. We can all learn something today. So we're gonna ink that up and then just stamp it. Doesn't even have to be straight. So I've just stamped it around the inside, and then we'll let this dry for a minute. While that's drying, we can go ahead and make his face. I'll be using three Stampin' Up! punches for his face, starting with the postage stamp. After I punch the postage stamp, I'm going to slide it into this small oval, just so that maybe a little less than halfway. So he's got that little jack-o'-lantern-ish teeth. <laughs> jack-o'-lantern-ish. I think I just started a new word. We'll add that to Tammy's dictionary. And then the triangle from the Perfect Penance die, we need three of those. Now these triangles are going to be way, way, way too big. So we're going to need to cut just the very, very tips off. And what I've done is taken the three, layered them on top of each other so they'll all be exactly the same, and then cut, and literally just the very tip there. It's about a half an inch, but really just the very tip. It's better to make them too big because if you think they're too big, you measure it and you go, well, that might be a little too big, then you can just layer them back up and trim a little more. And I'm just going to flip over the box, so we're working on the outside now, and stick these down with some Stampin' Mini Glue Dots. I like to stick these right to the glue dot, rather than trying to stick them to your finger and then stick your finger to the piece of cardstock. It just works better this way. Eliminates the middle finger. <laughs> Eliminates the middle man. I hope these don't generate middle fingers. That would be bad. <laughs> Oh my. And here's his little jack-o'-lantern face. Oh, he's so stinking cute. And that, my friends, is all there is to this box. Now, you just take your little, tiny little tea light. I got these at Walmart. You can get them just about anywhere. And when you turn it on, that goes right inside. Line your two centers up, and then this holds it down. Now, how adorable would these be? Lined up as a decoration, 
just about anywhere. They're so flippin' cute. They're illuminating. Such a great Halloween decoration if you had them had them all out at a party. Be sure to visit my blog for daily inspiration, stampin' up sales and specials. There's one happening right now, don't miss it. And my Facebook page where I post multiple times daily for inspiration. Thanks for joining me today.